zijn we weer terug bij de Border Session, terug in Den Haag, theater aan het spui. Een nieuwe gast is alweer aangesloten. Please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Jasmina Tashanovic. I'm a writer and an activist, originally from Serbia. I live between US, uh, Italy and often Belgrade. And when you uh, have to explain to someone you meet at the party who doesn't know you at all, what, what it is you do, what do you tell them? I live on the internet and I do everything that internet allows me to do, you know, because I was like, I, I really like technology even though I'm not a nerd or, um, or a designer or even an engineer. Uh -huh. But ever since I started doing like performances, it was many years ago, you know, I introduced technology on the stage, I was using... Um, so I like to, to do um, to do stuff. Now it's internet, really, you know, and yeah. all connected and interactive art and electronic art, you know. But I also do music, you know. I, I do so you're an artist. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just and, and now now actually we're doing connected home. The last thing we're doing is Casa Yasmina, which bears my name because yeah. it's a domotics connected home. It's in Turin, and what it's, it's, I think we are the first open source connected home, and it's yes, it's not for, uh, for uh, it's not for users. I hate that word. It's going to be for real people. So I think again, my role is it, why it has my name because I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm in favor of smart technology for stupid people, <laughs> meaning people who don't need to know what's inside the machine in order to use the machine. Uh -huh. yeah. And I think um, I uh, want to do this kind of object to be designed for this connected home, open source, and with its own cloud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me a bit more about this open home. This is, this is an open source connected home. Yes. So open source means that everyone can contribute? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Connected means that people ask us always connected to what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I always answer connected to us women because I put up also like this movement, the group called Internet of Women Things because it uh, talks about home. But connected to your own, we're not, we won't be connected to Google, Apple and, you know, big servers yeah. and all this kind of um, control Companies, uh, companies yeah. where they charge you, control you, and you become a user, yeah. okay, a yeah. client. We want to be actors. You know, we want to be in control of our own technology. No, and open source means it's a movement. No, and a movement connected also to open source software. But now we also have open source hardware, meaning every designer object that we make, you know, that people make in this movement, is online, so you can download it, improve it. You know, and this is uh, basically uh, based on Arduino, or Genuino now, how it's called, the little device that is the third revolution, yeah. that makes things happen. Expensive thing, you can design very cheap and you can do it on your own. You can do art, you can do chairs, you can do lamps, whatever you want. No? And yeah. it's 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 all being put or, or shown online, or is yes, it in a, in a real house as well? Oh, okay, it's online, and then you can download uh, the the instructions. Yeah. At that point, you can make it, like three D printing it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So and I can go to the yes, site and yes. I can uh, and download my own yes. chair and think, yes. well, it, yes. it's not I like all right. it. Yeah, no, I yeah. like it a bit, yes. bit a, yes. a bigger. You want it bigger, like you want it smaller, yeah. you want it, yes, yes. So, and you can also, when you do that, you put it online too. Yeah, yeah. So put it the, back. The next yeah. person who can use it uh, will use it as you did it or, you know, do something else. So yeah. This is the idea. Yeah. Of course, not everything can be completely open source, no. you know, because, you know, you can't open source a washing machine completely, no. you know. No. But you can do it partially, you know, and the more you do, the better it is. And it's also a new type of economy, meaning it will not be, uh, many things will uh, be cheaper and you can share them, you see, as opposed to a closed economy, commercial economy, where people are only clients and not users. Yeah, yeah. So how many objects can, can I find online do, oh, uh, in the not open from, house? From our uh, Casa Yasmina, which only started, you won't find many, you know, because we're just opening it and we're, we have a couple of chairs, a couple of lamps, which is the classic thing, you know, but yeah. everything that goes inside can be, will be open source, yeah. you know, we just yeah. started from scratch because we did the walls, I mean, the idea is open, you know, that it's open source and all, because it was a private idea of mine, like, why don't we make a new kind of home, you know, the house where we will really live, my husband and I, yeah. and then other people really loved it and say why don't we do it all together this thing and we all live there and share it and make it bed and breakfast you know but uh, if you are asking me of how many open source objects you can find online well thousands millions, millions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they're getting more and more you yeah. just have to look for it yeah 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 <laughs> 
So where do you hope the house will, 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 well, what's the end? Do you have a, an end stage in your mind? Well, you know, uh, the two of us, Bruce and I, we, uh, for us, we did put a deadline. We cannot do it all our lives. No, okay. no. We're going to do it a couple of years. We're going to, uh, how to say, set some kind of an example, a model, and then other people will do it even better, yeah. you know. So, so w when is the deadline? Uh, well, it's going to be like in, uh, in another two years, I think, you know, yeah. because we're already one year doing it, so yeah. we're extending it uh, from two to three years. But yeah. basically, the you know, when the house is, fi uh, when the house is finished, the family is dead. This is some kind <laughs> of, <laughs> you know, I don't think it literally that way. <laughs> But you know, the moment that somebody overtakes it and does it better than you, I think it's fine. Yeah. We, we, we have more, many more ideas. I do. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want to. So it's a temporary project yes, uh, yes, but where you see what, what happens and, and people... Put but you know, uh, we already have people who are exporting the idea and taking it to other countries like uh, England, Germany, you know, and this is already some kind of victory because uh, it became uh, like a chain you know yeah. <laughs> and this is this is good yeah. you know now we're like uh, uh, collaborating with these people who are starting uh, the same thing somewhere else you know and uh, this is almost a victory you know? yeah, <laughs> I yeah. mean this is almost the end of it you yeah. know what I mean <laughs> it's you can always there. stop yeah. but like, you see this is like a performance I'm a performance artist uh -huh. I've been that for, for many years and every idea has the right 50% to fail you understand? Yeah. And if you yeah. have a great idea and it fails, it's fine, you know. And you might have a lousy idea which works, you know, or just a mediocre idea. I mean, but uh, the uh, failure was is integrated in in the trial. So Casa Yasmina is like that, you know. It was an idea which sounded a little bit crazy, but it has success. So at this point, we just go, you know, go for oh, it. Yeah. With the ideas you you work on, with the projects you do, do you also hope to really change something in society? Oh yes, yes. I, I mean, you know, I think the change is already here. The point is that we're not aware of it. You know, I mean, I was aware of it, I'm, and I'm like a very political uh, about uh, the stuff I do, generally speaking. Yeah. Like, you know, this uh, Internet of Things, it's already here. Yeah. Now, this is the last moment for us uh, uh, not to become clients not to be dominated by big companies. So better do it, you know, better take the, those things in our hands so that we can refuse a big, because you know, very soon we won't be able to do anything without uh, using the internet of things. It, it's yes. just like electricity. You can't live without it. You can, but why? I mean, like, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. I've been here yeah. in your city and you can't pay without cards. Soon we won't be able, you won't even have money, we won't even have cards. You know, it, it, it will all be about Internet of Things in one device or on your hand. So, but somebody controls that. So, why not immediately try to do it? So it's not like uh, uh, the future is already here. Mm -hmm. This kind of future will better uh, be aware of it and do something about it, at least in our homes. Yeah. Because you know, it, it we already have so many invasive devices in our homes. Mm -hmm. You know. Through our uh, cell phone, they know where we are. Through many things, cameras, you know. So, you know, we, we should better uh, take it in our hands, make it more simple. So I don't want to have anything in my home which is Internet of Things, which is takes me six, you know, <laughs> six of those devices that I can't, you know, no. I no. want uh, just a simple board that says yes, no, on, off, you know. And this is like why this uh, project, I think, is important, that we will have uh, people who will design simple, simply complicated things. Mm. Do you feel people are aware enough of, of, of the invasion uh, you described? No, I don't think so. I, no. I think the people are, um, the, the people are, uh, this is a, a, a rather strange moment. On one hand, you have those people who are using the devices who are not aware how invasive they are. But on the other hand, you have the refusal. Of, yeah. um, which is also not good. No, because, no, no, because sometimes you can even see a gap, the people who know about technology, who understand, yes. who want some, and the people who, 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 just, don't, yeah. who don't understand it don't anymore. Don't understand it, no. refuse the computer, yeah. refuse like... Yeah. And it's, for me, it's like refusing electricity, really. Yeah. I think all people who are really refusing all the things, they should be the first one who need it, because they do need it, you know? And I'm trying to explain this to, you know, I'm growing old, eventually I'll be old too. You know, I won't be able to see well, to move well. And what happens is I don't want to be dependent on my daughter. 
I don't know if economically I can afford to pay somebody to be with me 24 hours. Yes. And if I want somebody to be with me 24 hours, this is my privacy, you yeah. know? Yeah. So this yeah. is, if I could have some little robot or many, <laughs> or many uh, you know, devices who tell me, who clean my house, who, you know, who tell who me help when to, you in every way. Yeah. Yeah. In those ways, yeah. the same goes with children. Children need a lot of that, you know, of taking care of them. You know, which now is paid with, uh, you know, in other ways, or they're not taken care of enough. You yeah. know, I'm not saying to substitute a mother and father or a family no. or a dog, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, but the gardens they also could be uh, well kept with yeah. Internet of Things. You know, so you know, I, I I think that really real life and real people needed more than uh, science fiction or uh, people who are in Silicon Valley. Mm. For them, it's only high tech, big money. For us, it's uh, the future, yeah. the poor, because we're poor. Yeah. We're getting old and poor in Europe, okay? We, we don't have children. I mean, maybe you do here. In Italy, in Serbia, in most of the part of the Europe, the population is growing old. They live long because of the technology, good health care. You know, they have no children or very little children. The children go away. So what's happening, we, we have this growing old population yeah. who needs yeah, to be taken here. care yeah. of. Yeah. 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 So we need machines and we, we need, need technology. We, need we can't do without, probably. Yeah. No. yeah. Besides no. why? Yeah. I, I'm not going to live in a forest without electricity and technology. <laughs> I love it. You know, oh. I mean, I love so are you optimi optimistic about the future? Yes, I yeah. am. You know, I know it's like, um, <clears throat> I, you know, generally speaking, I, I hate those um, worst case scenarios. You know, I know I, I've been through hell because I come from Serbia, so I've been through yeah. war. But I know that these things that happen don't happen where you expect them. They happen without any good reason, okay? You could have expected in Yugoslavia anything but a stupid civil war, yeah. okay? This is something, so it didn't happen to you, it, and, you know, the catastrophes do happen, but they don't happen where you expect them, you know? It doesn't, and, and uh, I, I'm very pro-science, and I'm pro-technology, and I really, I really, I'm very upset about this new AG uh, movements against vaccinations, uh, against, you know, chemotherapy, against, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of very intelligent people against G GMO, which, you know, I don't want my food to be manipulated, but GMO in itself does not mean anything bad. Mm -hmm. You can also do good stuff with GMO. You know, yeah. I, I believe in science. Yeah. <laughs> so do you feel, because there are quite a, a few people who, who, who warn for the, uh, well, warn about the dangers that, that, that face us because, because of technology, because of the new, uh, things that are possible um, so, so, so what 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 would you like to say to those people uh, those who are afraid of technology yeah, yeah. well you know uh, I, I usually don't speak anymore to them <laughs> there is nothing <laughs> nice there is no there speaking is to them <laughs> i can tell them on the contrary what happens is they tell me you uh -huh. know so i'm like i'm just in, uh, i i i am really afraid of their fanaticism i, I would just tell them chill out you know think uh -huh. about your past Think about what happened in the past because of the technology. You know, think what's good and what's the bad side. You know, how many for those people like who are afraid of vaccinations and scanners and all, they think it's bad for you. You like vaccinations. Yeah. Think how many people die, how yeah. many children die, and how many of us will die if you stop vaccinating your children. You know, not only your child. I will die because I'm too old yeah. to survive a, a, a sickness which a child can even survive. You know, I mean, this is like. Think, I would just tell them to think about the past, you know, how, how many things technology brought over to us which are good and how many which are bad, you know. Yeah. So, and, but usually those people don't want to think, you know, they're, they're fanatics. So you don't waste your energy uh, on them? I, it's useless, yeah. because they, they don't think. If they would think, they wouldn't talk the way yeah. they yeah. do, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not pro or against anything. I think about stuff, you know, it's not like... I'll just blindly bring in the stuff in my house and put it in front of me. No, no you know, no, yeah. I would think, what is yeah. it good, what is it bad for me, you know, why, like, you know, an iPhone, like, uh, I, it's complicated, it's invasive, but you can always switch it off. You can always <laughs> put the, you know, the uh, location off, you yeah. know. And then when you use it, it's a better camera than I ever had in my life. And I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> I can do a film on my own with this little thing yeah. that costs $700. Yeah. It used it's to wonderful. cost $700,000. Yeah, no. to make a movie. <laughs> and I yeah. did it. You yeah. know, I'm old enough to have made with, uh, you know, analog instruments. Yeah. You know, I can do everything on my own. So, yeah. 
That's, you know, I'm happy to have it or, or switch it off when I don't want it. Yeah, you know. yeah. okay, to, to end. The best thing that's happened in the, in, in, in the house uh, so far, the, 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 the object you're most yeah. happy about? Yes, you know, it's um, uh, the, the object I'm most happy about is uh, Alexandra Duchamp Sonsino. She's uh, a, a designer from London. She designed an old connect, a, a, a lamp. It's called a, lamp? a good night lamp. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so, listen to this. <laughs> she has the point, or exactly of what I was looking for Casa Yasmin. Uh, yeah, she designs a big, la it's a la one lamp is like this, and it looks like uh, our house. Uh, it's like a little home, yeah. you know, uh, like this, like a little house. Huh? And the other lamp is smaller, huh? like this, but the same. It's also a small house. Oh, sm a small yeah, house, yeah, a, small, yeah. a, big, a little big, big but house, the same. Small. Small. Yeah, yeah. So if you have, you're, you're like the mother, like I'm a mother, yeah. and I have in my home the big lamp. Huh? And I give my daughter, who right now is in China, yeah. literally she's in China, yeah. And I gave her the small small house, you know. And when I wake up in the morning, I will I, I just switch on my lamp. And if her lamp lamp is, if she's alive, yeah. it switches off. So I don't have to phone her because she hates her mom phones her. <laughs> I don't have to write her. I just know that we're connected. You see, this kind and it's connected on the internet. Yeah. You see, so this kind of. I really love it, you yeah, know. Whenever, yeah. because of course I'm not with my daughter, who's a grown-up person and travels all the yeah, world, yeah, and yeah, I travel. Yeah, yeah, still want to. But we're connected, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. I swear, I, I find this. Uh, it's a very beautiful object. It is very emotionally bonding, you know. It is very home friendly. It is very women friendly, you know. And it changes the habits in a nice way. Yeah. Because you know the cell phones and all the things. It's invasive. I, you know, when you have a phone ringing and you don't want to speak to no. your father or your mother. <laughs> but on the other hand, you want to know that they're feeling good, yeah. alive. And yeah. this is just what we need. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. It's a beautiful <laughs> thought to end on. Thank you. Okay. okay. Tot zover. Um, blijf kijken. Wie weet, komt er nog een gast? En misschien ook wel niet. <laughs>